This is a boy who broke a record by stealing the Queen's underwear. And this is the curious case of the world's first celebrity stalker. Between 1838 and 1841, Edward the Boy Jones managed to sneak his way into Buckingham Palace by disguising himself as a chimney sweep. He was just 14 years old when he first made his way inside Queen Victoria's royal residence in London. Jones is said to have stalked the Queen, who reigned from 1837 until her death in 1901. He spied on her while she was undressing for the night and even stole some of her underwear. He was first caught in the act in 1838 when he was spotted by a porter in the Marble Hall. He was chased down by police who found him with several pairs of the Queen's underwear stuffed down his trousers. He was brought before the court in December of that year when it came out that he'd mentioned his intentions to break into the palace to his employer, a builder, on more than one occasion. Despite this theft and also stealing a portrait of the Queen, a letter and a collection of linens, he was acquitted by the jury. What might have worked in his favour is that the Queen had been staying at Windsor Castle on the night that he'd broken into Buckingham Palace. On other occasions, he'd even hidden underneath tables to eavesdrop on conversations between the Queen and her ministers. Two years later, on the 30th of November, 1840, Jones scaled the wall surrounding Buckingham Palace and made his way inside once more. This was just nine days after the birth of the Queen and Prince Albert's first child, Princess Victoria. He managed to leave undetected. The following day, on the 1st of December, 1840, the Queen's governess and companion, Baroness Louise Lezen, found Jones sitting on a sofa in the Queen's dressing room shortly after midnight. She called for help and he was arrested. Joan's father tried to plead insanity as a defence, but it was unsuccessful this time. The teenager was sentenced to three months in a house of correction, an establishment created thanks to the passing of the Elizabethan Poor Law in 1601. After his release, the boy was discovered on the grounds of the palace yet again on the 15th of March, 1841. His break-in predictably caused uproar, with an additional three guards then being appointed to watch the palace. And the boy didn't get off lightly this time. He was sentenced to three months hard labour. But that didn't stop him from trying again. After his second release, he was caught loitering around the palace. This time, he was sent to do duty in the Navy, and while docked in Portsmouth, took the opportunity to walk 70 miles to London. It seems he just couldn't resist. He was caught before he reached the palace and sent back to his ship. In later life, it's said that Jones became an alcoholic and a burglar before moving to Australia to reinvent himself. There he became the town crier of Perth and adopted the name Thomas Jones in an apparent bid to leave his past behind him. Jones died on Boxing Day, 1893, in Bairnsdale, Australia after falling from the Mitchell River Bridge while he was drunk. These days, stalking is an unfortunate side effect of celebrity. And as the very first celebrity stalker on record, the boy certainly belongs in the Guinness World Records Curious Casebook. <laughs> <laughs>